Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and that means I'm filming a Whiskey Wednesday. So it's been a long day so this might be available to you on a Thursday. Whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, let me just say hello. I hope you're safe and sound and enjoying your week. Now if you're a subscriber you know what today is about. If you are new to the channel, today we spend midweek having a little drink a taste and a chat about whiskey or an associated spirit. It could be gin, vodka, which will happen soon, uh, and uh, bourbon or anything else in between. So let's get right to it. As the title suggests, we are taking a look at a very special release, something that I touched on in my last video. We are taking a look at Teeling, which is a brand you know I already really like. But this release, guys and girls, is the opposite end of the barrel, so to speak. And what I mean by that, if you've seen last week's video, you know we took a look at Cairo gin that was cask aged in a teeling whiskey barrel. Now, this is the opposite side. This is the barrels or casks that was selected by Teeling from Cairo that was shipped over to Ireland where then Teeling matured their whiskey in. So in this case what we have here is a very special limited edition release of Teeling whiskey that has been finished or aged in a dry gin barrel. So it's a very special release, limited edition, limited availability. You can see I've only got like a third of this bottle left, if not less. Uh, and that is usually a good indicator of something that I'm really enjoying. This came out probably just before Christmas, probably, if I remember correctly, in the last quarter uh, of uh, 2020, or maybe even a bit before that. Uh, and uh, it's been very popular, obviously. But the, uh, the thing is, when you see small batch releases you're kind of like mm, and ah, and thinking you know what should i try it should i give it a go i don't know you know you've got a little maybe you're just kind of going you know i'll try what i know well the purpose of this or well, these videos is that i want to give you an inside take on what i believe is a good pickup and as usual all the links are below if you want right now pause the video pour yourself a drink any drink come back hit play and let's have a let's have a sip let's find out what you're drinking leave your comments below any questions as usual leave them below so i'm gonna just go ahead and pour myself one of these it's been a long day the days are getting longer messing with the light in my little studio here but i don't mind because we are gonna enjoy a whiskey so let's go ahead and do this i've got this in the shot yes i have Ooh, that I didn't keep an eye on. I think I may have poured myself a very large drink there. Not to worry, Nithin, enjoy. Now, while I let this air for a bit, look at this, look at how my hair's growing. Look at this, the curls, the curls are really kicking off. And I've got this cheeky one, look, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's all happening. Um, hair growing, beard growing, tash growing. I guess it's the, um, the, <laughs> The joy of lockdown <laughs> you can just carry on and uh, no need to uh, get a haircut and maybe experiment with your look a bit more if you are experimenting with your look have you grown out your hair have you grown a mustache or a beard or something like that or uh, the hair on your legs armpits maybe i don't know what are you doing <laughs> tell me <laughs> share overshare maybe <laughs> but let's check this out look this is a lovely color it's a dark amber compared to some of the other ones that we've come across it's a uh, you know, it's, you, looking at it, you might think, hey, there's nothing special to look at. Yeah, fair enough. I find this to this look to me looks like it's a bit more oily, a bit more slicker than than other whiskies we've seen so far. Um, I like the way this this, this coats the side uh, off the glass. Again, this is my favorite glass if, you, if you're after this. And as some of you have inquired, the links are in all the videos. Now, let's just get stuck in. Ooh, immediately. This is sweet. How to describe? It's like a, 
bouquet of flowers. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling on point today. I have been reading a lot, so I'm getting my vocabulary is growing. I have to say, <laughs> it's just sometimes you don't get a chance to talk in a, or be so descriptive. But I'm really enjoying it, and these videos help me get into that zone a bit more. And oh, that's really nice. It's got hints of vanilla, flowers. It feels like a bit. Something quite summery about it. Uh, these ha this has been aged. Uh, the, or the casks that were selected uh, did house Cairo gin. Uh, th I believe that gin is uh, known as Kokusu gin. I probably haven't pronounced it correctly, but they did go through the process of renaming their gins. The guys at Cairo, so it may not be known as that anymore. But that gin, very special gin. It's aged for about three months in an American oak cask uh, and then they they take it out and they they work their magic on it in this case what they the guys at teeling did was send over their master distiller he went through all the casks and was like you know what i just want these three or four casks he hand selected the american oak casks that were used to produce cairo's gin and um, they then put their own whiskey in it and finished it off so there is it is limited release you are going to get, because of the American oak, you are going to get hints of vanilla, a light woodiness in my experience. Yeah, this develops very nicely. It's sweet. It's got almost a tropical fruit note to it as well, like, um, like a mango or a pineapple. Let's just get stuck in. Mmm. It's really nice on the palate. I know I say it's about others as well, but it's not overbearing. It's not overwhelming. I believe this is a 46%. Most teeling bottlings are bottled at 46%. And it's cool to it's, it's it's cool when it hits the palate. It slowly warms up, starts releasing those kind of like I think a botanical note is the right way to talk about it. It starts to release this kind of like spicy flowery floweriness. And it is it is like um it is like flowers. It the more it sits You know what it is? It's like the smell It's like the smell of charred wood. with the kind of like so it's not peaty but it's, it's got this smokiness to it but it's not peated but it's got this kind of like really subtle the nice hint of a bonfire for example with a layer of sweetness that runs through it with a kind of like flowery end so it's like mm. That just gets better with every sip. It's not too much. You don't feel it going down your chest or hitting your belly. Really light. Definitely left with a sweet, a sweet feeling in in the mouth and the palate. You don't have an kind of like overly uh, kind of like wet reaction. Meaning, like, so I always think of it this way: you have a, either a really wet reaction or a really dry reaction. Uh, and what I mean by that is, when you have a drink, it's either going to be, like I said, you're gonna, your, your palate's just going to get wiped out, like it's just going to go dry, and all your kind of taste buds are going to go on fire and be like super, super stimulated, and just just going to pop up, and you might get like a bit of a rough tongue, or it's going to be very kind of like slick and 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 wet. So when you when you taste it, it kind of layers the tongue, it warms it up, leaves a kind of weird sweetness, a film of sweetness on your tongue, stimulating uh, actually the, the palate completely. Uh, and it's it's a more of a, a bearable, pleasant experience. That, that's how I see it. And with this one, as a whiskey, Damn, you're onto something really special. And the more I drink it, it's pe 
painting a picture and I've drank this a couple of times, but whenever I drink it, I, I have, I, I try to think it gets more robust the more I, the more I drink it. And, and the image that's, that's now kind of like coming together like a bit of a puzzle. Have you ever had those moments where you're, you kind of driving or walking or whatever it is and you come across a field and it's a field of like wild flowers. It's uh, late afternoon. The sun is a little bit low, but it's nice and warm. And the scent of the kind of like sugary flowers are in the air, like a bit of, I don't know, a little bit of honeysuckle or something like that. It's, it's kind of like wafting around. You've got a bit of jasmine. You've got this kind of like sweet, the sweet scent of, uh, of, of wild flowers bouncing around. It's, a little bit like that you know it's like you you're you're on a you're on a picnic uh and you know someone's kind of bought you've bought the bread you've got the marmalade the jam the cheese and all that kind of wonderful stuff and then you've got this wonderful feeling uh, this wonderful smell that runs through the air and every so often you it it it, it hits you and you're like that just smells really nice basically you know when you've when, when you're kind of growing up and someone goes, you see someone on TV or the, or the adverts and they go, here's a flower. And they, the, you know, the, the lady or the whatever, she smells the flower and she's like, oh, flowers, like roses, right? Uh, and then eventually you end up smelling a flower that you probably got from the supermarket and something. And you're like, it doesn't really smell of anything. But, but eventually when you, when you go out and you, go into a wild i don't know meadow or something and you eventually get hit by the scent of flowers that feeling the the kind of heat that's kind of made the flowery oils get into the air that's when you go you know what this is what flowers are about that's what a flowery meadow is about and i think they've somehow managed to capture that and put it into this whiskey because it does taste like a vanilla uh, I, i'm trying not to say smoky but because it's not peated but it's got this kind of like if someone's far 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 away in this this picturesque meadow and they've got a little bonfire going on and it but you know you've still got the scent of flowers this lovely smokiness the sweetness the vanilla uh you know the tropical they might they might say hey nithin it's got no tropical notes in it but as far as I'm concerned, the sweetness in here, my tongue, when I taste that, the picture it paints in my mind is of pineapples, um, mangoes, uh, and flowers with a little bit of smokiness. And then you've got the jasmine and the honeysuckle and all that sort of wonderful stuff that runs through this. Mmm. really easy to drink i must say i have been quite naughty with this i have experimented a lot water fizzy water soda whatever you want to call it tonic to kind of figure out you know what else we can pull out of it but in my experience drinking this neat is how it should be enjoyed have it with a little bit of water if you want to kind of like water down the the strength a bit it won't really mess with the flavor profile have it with a, a block of ice, not too much, because it end up basically losing the whole thing. And one thing that was quite naughty, I don't usually do this, but um, I I had this with a with a Pepsi or a cola, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to see what would happen to the flavors. And what was really really interesting is if you are partial to a rum and coke, this. <laughs> it almost has that same take. It almost kind of like makes your cola or your Pepsi, whatever it is, a bit a bit rummy, which is really interesting. And there's a it's very complimentary because of the, the notes or hints of vanilla. So if you are someone who want, who can't have their, who doesn't really enjoy their whiskey or their whatever without mixing, which is a shame, but if you are going to do that, <laughs> And the only reason I suggest this because I've done it, 
I wouldn't suggest it because this is a small batch release and it should be enjoyed as it is. But the only reason I'm talking about it is because some of my friends and family do enjoy mixing their drinks. And if you are going to mix a drink, uh, this will take your your whiskey and coke up to, you know, way past 100. And everyone will sip. Mm. Jesus, good. Wow. So, have you tried this? Have you tried this Teeling Cairo collaboration? If you have, or if you haven't, if you've got questions, leave the comments below. Apart from that, I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'll, I'll be back on Friday. I wasn't here last Friday, but I'll be back here on Friday. And uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you're safe and sound. Drink safe, be safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.